Hello there survivors, welcome back to another build tutorial in Ark Survival Ascended. Today I'm going to show you how to build this pagoda in Ark. It's a lovely little design that really adds some character to your base and is the perfect place to store your dinos. There's some room downstairs for some of the small to medium sized dinos. It can even fit a UT inside. And of course, you have room for your cryo fridge and whatever. The second layer is the perfect place to park all your flyers and still be able to fly them in and out. And then the top layer is the perfect place just to enjoy the view or use as a lighthouse to always be able to find your way home. But more importantly, it's just a very cool looking build. It will definitely add a lot of character to your base. It's one of several buildings that I've made in this style. So if you want to, you can easily build an entire base with this Japanese theme. Now, before we get into the tutorial, if you really want to show your support for this video, of course, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, maybe even consider becoming a member because that is currently the best way to support my channel. And without much further ado, let's get into the tutorial and let's get to building. Well, obviously, we're going to have to get started with a foundation. We want to start with a triangle piece like so and make a little circle. And then we're going to extend that and make another circle all around it. Um, just so that we have a little bit of a bigger shape going on. Now, it really depends on what kind of area you're building on. Sometimes you might not be able to place the uh, foundations anymore and then you just switch to ceilings instead. We're going to add normal foundations to the sides of the circle we just... Uh, create it uh, because we want to make it even bigger and here you can see it won't let me place down the foundations on the same height so here we will use some ceilings but you can still place the foundations down there just as some extra supports okay so we're placing in my case i place the ceilings above it but yeah that kind of depends on your landscape and it's kind of hard to find uh, flat spots everywhere so this works perfectly and then we're going to go with the triangle pieces again and we'll go in between to finish this shape. And here, of course, we'll have the same problem and we'll just have to fill it in again with some ceilings. So now we have a shape like this and we want to still extend it with one more layer to the outside. And we want to make sure that we have three of these triangles on the outside here again. I'm going to have to use some ceiling as well to make it all work. And then on these pieces, obviously, we're going to use a normal foundation. And this is just the way we're going to go all the way around until we have this shape all finished. And we'll try to use as much of the normal foundations as we can. And if we can't, we'll use the ceilings instead to make the shape work. Okay, and then we should end up with a shape like this. Um, and that is what we're going to be working with today. Okay, to get started, we kind of want to decide what side of this shape that we built right now is going to be our entrance. In my case, I'm going to place that over here. And the way I designed this pagoda is to basically be able to house some dinos. So it's going to be quite a large front entrance. So we're not going to be placing any walls on this side. But we're going to start by placing some walls down on this side going four high. And we're going to do that on all the corner pieces basically. We just want to fill them completely in with four high walls. And how did I see this? Um, obviously you want to fill this in as well with some um, stone walls. I'll do that in a little bit. But only on the places, of course, where you used ceilings instead of um, actual foundations. So we should end up with something like this. Okay, and then for the other walls, we're actually going to fill the middle part in as well with just blank walls. I like to use the outside of the wall or the inside of the wall on the outside because I like the texture a little bit more but in theory you could also do it the other way around if you prefer that so we should have something like this 
then we'll change to these tall doorways and we'll make some big windows on the side of all of these and of course we want to do that on all the sides that we have left except for the one that we chose as the entrance to the pagoda um, so we'll just go around and fill these all in like so and there we are so right now it's still quite nice and simple but in the end it is a pretty nice result and definitely a nice unique uh feature of a base okay so for the entrance we do actually want to make sure that we get all the way up to about here and then we want to have basically the same pattern as everywhere else but only for the top layer and We'll be able to remove these in a little bit, but first we'll need to establish some pillars. So you want to make sure that you've got pillars going up all the way. Make sure they don't rotate to the other side because that kind of looks weird if they're not all in the same direction. And then we can have these beams going across like so. And then we can remove these walls because they were only to get up there and be able to place them more easily. Um, and in the right orientation. And then this is going to be our entrance. Because this is big enough to bring in some dinos, etc. And then just to make it look nice. I would always make sure that these pillars go all the way down. Until you can't see them anymore. It looks nicer than just having them float. Then what we want to do is have these pillars alongside all of these uh, side walls. And again, making sure they go all the way down and we're gonna actually do them here as well next to the windows so we have a little bit of extra detail going around and then what we want to do is we want to have beams across the top of course and we'll also have some beams going across here only not in the entrance because that looks a little bit weird so we'll place down some beams here again and basically you want to go around the entire build and do this everywhere so that we have the first little bit of detail on this first layer of our pagoda. So yeah, just go around the whole build and do this same thing everywhere. Okay, so we should end up with something looking like this. And that is basically almost the first layer completed. Then what you want to do is take out some uh, railings, stone railings. Make sure you flip them. And go around fill in the bottom of these uh, windows down here so you don't walk through them anymore and they will actually look like windows and then another way to detail these windows well you could leave them open you could add in glass if you want to have it easy but if you want to do it a little bit more special you could actually go and do something like this have some fences stick out like this and basically you want to make sure they line up the same way and then you can connect them like this and make them go all the way through. Because um, it's just a nice little design to do. It does take a whole lot of time to place these in every single window. Especially if you want to paint them later. So for the tutorial's sake and the time's sake, I'm not going to be doing that for every single window in this build. Uh, therefore, it will also not be included in the estimated material list down below in the comments but if you want to do add these details in this is the way to do this okay now it's time to get started on the first little layer of roofing around this first bit that we made we want to add in some wooden ceilings on these corners um, just like this and do that all the way around and then we're going to connect these pieces up with some triangle roofs so you'll just want to go around like this and fill them all in so yeah just <laughs> go around the entire building filling it in like this so you should end up with something looking like this basically a platform around the whole building that we have just made and that's going to be the start for our roof what we're going to do is we're going to bring out the stone ramps and we're going to place them all along it does include a little bit of overlapping as you can see 
so i don't think this is going to be possible on official unfortunately um you'll have to try and figure out a way to make this work it's it's a shame that we don't have like corner pieces for the uh, steepness of a uh, ramp because that would give us a lot more options to build this without having to overlap them on top of each other but for right now this is what we're gonna do and yeah, you just want to go all the way around and make this shape go through because it just adds a nice little yeah almost a round shape to the build um now this looks nowhere near to what we want to have so we want to take out some triangle pieces and place them on the corners like this and this is going to create the nice little uh yeah bits sticking out from the roof that add a lot of detail and a lot of the character to the build you can already see it slowly coming to life this way and then the next step is actually quite simple we want to take our triangles and we want to connect them even further by going along like this on top of the existing um existing roof and then this is the way that we get a little bit more of that curve going on in the roof that i also did in some of my other builds that will be online soon as well um and you can basically build the entire base that i made over on herbivore island for yourself so we just want to go around and do this everywhere and then you shoot up with something that looks like this so you can see the little curve going in the roof and we've got all these nice little end pieces adding a lot of detail and character to the build but we're not quite done yet we want to add some more details so we have some railings going on like this make sure that the black part sticks out like this and then in between we want to make sure that we have the railing going on like so until we reach the next part and we do the same thing again so that we get this nice little border along our roof and i really think it adds a lot of character to the build and uh, yeah just creates a very nice look as with all of these builds actually in this style um, i would suggest painting the roof at the end just because it looks a little bit nicer especially these parts where you see the wooden beams um, but yeah you can see that in the examples that i've made let's finish these details all around the roof and get back to the tutorial okay and then it should look something like this and that is basically the first layer of our pagoda completely done moving on to the next layer okay and in order to get started on the next layer we're basically going to fill in the floor with these triangle pieces now it should just work by going around like so and filling it all in it should perfectly line up you just first do the outside border and then you slowly work your way to the inside now we will add some stairs to the inside as well so that we can easily get up to every layer but we'll do that later on for the entire build so for now we might as well just fill it in completely of course if you're building this yourself in survival for example it might be useful to add a little uh, stairway going down in the middle or preferably use a flyer to get around because we'll be going up and down a little bit more so we should end up with something like this basically filling in the entire platform that we had and this is the layer that i myself have designed as an aviary so we want to make sure that we can get in with pterodons and argentavises so that you can park them up here and you know store them safely so what we'll do is we'll take out these again for the windows we'll do both on these sides have windows and we'll do that all around and we'll leave the middle part completely open that is where all flyers are going to be able to fit through um and you just want to go around like this now then we want to switch over to the normal wall and then we want to add two more on top and then connect it all the way through so we have our little gaps in the middle so we can fly through it and this is just the way that we complete all walls because most of this isn't actually going to be visible from the outside so we just want to go all around the building and fill in these walls 
Okay, now we want to start out by detailing them. So we'll pick up our railings again, make sure that the stone bit is on the top. And we'll just go around the entire layer with the railings so that we don't accidentally walk out of our little aviary here. Um, so we just go around with these railings everywhere until we've completed that. And then we want to take out our uh, stone pillars or beams in this case and go around as well. We'll hide the little black border as well as just add some more structure to the build. And we just want to go all the way around and adding these everywhere. And then it's time to also add in some more pillars. So what you want to do is have pillars on these corners again. You don't want to add any pillars here in the middle because I believe then um, the flyers won't be able to fit. And that's definitely not what we want because otherwise we're building this entire layer like this for nothing. So we just want to go around and fill in these corners to add in a little bit more detail to the build. There we go. And then we can also add a layer of beams going across the top of this to finish this layer off and this is also the height where the next layer will be but that is something we'll worry about in a little bit so we should end up with something looking like this and then it's time to work on the roof again now to get started with the roof is actually very simple because it's basically the same roof as we did before only now that we're starting with these triangles attaching them like so uh, definitely not like this and then we'll basically we'll just go around the entire building adding a layer of these triangle roofs until we've been all the way around okay there we go that is the first layer of our roof done then we want to go around with the stone ramps again and add another layer to the bottom of this okay and then if you've gone all around it should look something like this obviously this is not the design that we want to have so instead we're going to go underneath and we're going to add some triangle ceilings on the bottom of all of these ramps going all the way around and doing that everywhere where we have these ramps placed. Okay and then when we've gone all the way around we want to fill in these middle bits with a normal ceiling as well adding some normal ceilings here as well to fill it all in. And that's basically what we're going to do all the way around. And then for these gaps, we're going to use a triangle again until we have it filled in all the way like this. And this is what you want to do all the way around for all of the different sides. Okay, and once we've done that all the way around, the last thing that we need to do is adding some more of these ramps in the last corners that we now have filled in so that we basically get the same roof shape as we did before and then the last finishing touches are of course adding these triangles sticking out again on all the corner pieces and then we'll add in the detail on the roof again so we'll take out our railings again just as we did before and we'll add a little border all around the roof to add in some nice details like so so what you want to do is go all the way around again and place in all these railings okay and then once again we should have something looking like this so the second layer of our pagoda is now completely done and then we'll start on the next layer and again that begins by filling in the floor with quarter ceilings going all the way around basically the exact same way that we just did for the previous layer Okay, and then for this layer, we want to start going around with these double doors on the sides as the first layers of our wall. And we basically just want to go around all the way like this, doing the same thing everywhere. And this way we can still easily look outside and, you know, enjoy our view. And this is basically the part of the pagoda that I, uh, for my base, are just using as like a... Uh, a watchtower point or maybe a lighthouse even uh, so you can easily spot your base from afar and then we just want to add these double layer of normal walls on top everywhere until we have the same nice shape of our tower again and then 
we can get started on adding more details in so there we go that is what the walls should look like now again we want to add in some railings make sure that the stone side is up and just go around all the way across so that we can't accidentally walk out of our little tower on top of here um, so we just want to go all around and making sure that we've got this all filled in and then to add some more detail we want to make sure that we add in some pillars just to make it look a little bit nicer and we want to do that all the way around so just go around circle the whole thing making sure that we've got these pillars going on everywhere as a little bit of extra support and extra details okay and once you've gone all the way around it should look something like this and then it's time again to start on the roof now the roof again is not going to be that difficult it's basically the same principle as before we'll start out with a layer of these triangles and we want to make sure that we connect them all the way around again okay and as soon as we've done that layer all around we want to of course take out our ramps again and also add some ramps to the bottom of these triangles and go all the way around again okay and then again it should look something like this we're gonna go down underneath again and this is where we add in our triangle ceilings again i'm saying a lot of again uh, because it's a lot of repetition so we want to go around and do this everywhere underneath the uh, ramps and then of course we want to connect them like so adding some normal ceilings down below as well and just making sure we fill this all in and having the triangle piece there and this is what you want to do all around all right then we should have something like this and then we can place the missing ramps in the corners again and then we'll add the last little bit of detail to the roof with the triangles sticking out of course on all the corners so that we have the like little signature pieces for this roof design and then once we've done all that of course again we want to add in some railings around just to add that last extra little bit of detail so once more we're gonna go all the way around the pagoda and add in these railings as some extra detail okay and then we should end up with something looking like this and this is where things get interesting okay now we're gonna finish the top of the pagoda and this is where things get a little bit interesting and this is only possible on uh non-official because you need to be able to overlap things here because otherwise um, yeah, it was a little bit tough to make it work in the right way. So we're going to start with raising the roof with another layer of triangles. So, so far, so good. This is still quite easy. This is all still very normal. Um, after this, however, we're going to do some more creative and more free placement of uh, certain objects. But um it's just the way it is and if you follow this tutorial it will work um yeah i wasn't quite sure how to finish this i guess in theory you could just keep going up with triangles and have like a very pointy roof to this design but i decided to add in a little uh of the roof design that i used for the other builds as well we want to figure out where our entrance is and line up everything with that so what we'll do is we'll add in some normal ceilings like this on both sides um, not on the outside though so right here and this is already where it starts to get interesting because as you can see it doesn't quite line up actually we have like a half block extra of course we can just fill that in with some quarter ceilings and actually what you might want to do is make one of these a hatch frame so that you technically can still get up here if you want to use this space although it's not going to be very useful so you might as well just use a normal ceiling because i don't think you're going to use it but you could if you wanted to okay and then we want to get started on the roof shape right here so what we'll do is take out our quarter wooden walls 
and we'll place two down here. Then we should be able to line up our um, slope walls with it. And then as well, we'll place two slope walls on top of that until we reach this shape. And of course, we want to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. So we'll have two quarter walls right there and we'll create this little roof shape like this okay and now what we actually want to do is we want to add in an extra layer here of these quarter ceilings so that we fill this all in and we'll also use some of these snap points for the roof um and this is definitely where things are getting interesting because also there's still a gap here and we want to fill that in as well so what we'll do we'll bring out or triangle bits and we'll place them like so so again we'll have a little bit of overlapping but that's just the best way that i found to do it um uh, we should have something like this so we we have no gaps anymore in the roof over here and now we can actually start by placing our roof structure we want to make sure that we get this right snap point here so that we have the overlap on the outside and we want to do that for both of these. Now, obviously, this is not really lining up to the top of this structure. So we want to make sure that we can do that as well. And the easiest way to do that is to get some uh, quarter walls and raise them up here in the middle. Um, this works best, of course, if you're not going to use this top space, which I really wouldn't recommend because, as you can see, it's quite small, but technically... You could use it if you want to use it. And then we can have this snap point up here for the last piece of the roof and fill it all in like this. And then, of course, we want to make sure that we connect up the roof. We're going to have some overlap on one side. So just pick what side you want to have the overlap on. And we can just basically fill in the rest of the roof like this. Then we'll switch to the ramps for the little curved design to this roof. Um, again, here is going to get a little bit interesting. But I have a little bit of overlapping with the other roof design. But this is just the best way that I found to be able to do this design and have like a satisfying end to the pagoda instead of just a very spiky top. But you could also go for the spike if you want to. Then we basically have almost the entire roof here done. We want to add in some of these stone sloped walls as well. Make sure they face the same way because that looks a little bit nicer. And as I always say for these kind of roofs, I would definitely at least paint the roofs of this building just to make it look a little bit nicer. So you won't see this wooden beam as clearly as you do right now. And then, of course, we want to add in some more details to our roof. So we'll add some of these railings going across like so make sure that the overlapping happens somewhere in the middle there just looks a little bit nicer and then we'll add some on the end here as well just as we've done with most of these buildings in this style and if you didn't know there's a bunch more buildings to do in this style so if you want to build your entire base like this i have some other designs as well here on the end we want to also have some railings we want to sure make sure to flip them around so that the black bar is on the outside just looks a little bit nicer in my opinion and then we want to go on the bottom like so we'll do that on both sides and just finish off these details so they're all the same on all the sides of the roof and there we go it should end up looking something like this so now we have got the nice little top roof and all the layers of roofing down below we're basically almost done with this build but i will show you the way that i did the interior to at least have a staircase going up to all the different layers okay the easiest way to start with the uh, staircase is to start from the aviary position so the second layer so not the bottom layer but this one right here we want to fly in here go to the middle and remove a couple of these pieces so that we can have a stair going down here um this is where we're gonna have the start of our staircase we'll rotate it like this and then basically we just wanna i mean make it go circle down this is the easiest way that i found to do a staircase 
it is nice and central, so maybe if you don't want that, you could uh, possibly yeah, try to add it a little bit more to the side. But I found that this works perfectly fine for me. And then, of course, you want to add in a pillar in the middle as a little bit of support uh, where it's basically circling around you. And this pillar, of course, is going to go up even higher because after that we've reached this level, we definitely want to continue. Um, but first, we also definitely want to make sure that we have some railing going around the little gap that we've created so that you can safely go down here and you don't just fall down the stairs if you're walking around on this layer when you park your bird. Okay, and here, obviously, we want to continue this staircase as well. So we want to make sure that we place it like so. I have two normals or the quarter ceilings or triangle ceilings actually before I start the next staircase and then we can basically just bring this one all the way up to the next layer of the uh, the pagoda and then we'll have to remove two pieces again and then we should be able to easily get to this level. We'll place down some more of these um, railings and again you want to bring up the pillar as well um, because that looks a little bit nicer adds a little bit more looking support to this staircase and it also ends up perfectly as like a half pillar which is pretty nice now if you did add in the hatch frame you could have a ladder dropping down from that if you really want to access your attic but personally, I would probably just leave it like this because there's so little space. You already have a lot of space in this pagoda. And then we are pretty much done with the pagoda. This is what you should have right now. Of course, you probably want to add in some stairs in the front or connect it to the walkway, depending on what your base looks like. And you have the choice of adding in these fences as a little design for the windows or just add in glass greenhouse doors. Um, to have something make sure that for this layer at least you keep the middle open if you want to use it for flyers and yeah it's a pretty nice build um, let's go for a little tour of the main build that i made okay so we're over here on herbivore island where i've built my entire japanese inspired base with the japanese castle over there the tutorial of that will be up now or very shortly if you're watching this early uh the japanese bridge and we also have this little tori gate as a little detail so there's a lot of other tutorials that you could follow but now we're gonna check out this pagoda right here you can see that i've painted it if you want to paint it like this i've used uh, a marine for the roof i've used some black uh, all over like little accents to have a little darker beams and stuff like that and i've used the scab color to get this nice little deep red and as you can see there's a big entrance you could place down your cryo fridge here and have some room for some small to medium sized dinos you can even fit a ut in here and be able to exit still um, you have plenty of space what i've also done is adding in a little fridge and some uh, air conditioning so you can also hatch dinos here and add a little um, a trough at the bottom of the stairs so that you are feeding them as well and then you basically have everything you need on this first little level then we can go up do the next level this is the level for flyers again you could add some extra food probably actually they can also reach from the down bottom one but just to be sure i add the generator here so that it powers the entire pagoda so you can even have lights everywhere when it gets dark or if you want to use it as a literal lighthouse and then the next layer i haven't really had anything besides a whole lot of lamps so that you can easily see this building from far away even in the dark and then here this is where i have the little ladder coming down from the hatch frame you can do this i have not done anything with this attic because it's so small but if you want to this is what you would do and this is what it would look like but honestly probably better off not using that space at all and there we go there we have it this is how you build my japanese pagoda in arc survival ascended hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and if you really want to show your support feel free to become a member because that's the best way to support my channel Thank you so much for watching and if you do end up building this in your own arc world, feel free to share the result with me 
on Twitter or join my Discord and share it over there. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.